I have a C-section here which is subjected to a vertical shear force uh, which is equal to 7 kips. Um, in this problem I want to determine how much is the value of shear stress at point A and point B. The basic equation that I have here is shear stress is equal to VQ over IT. The shear force is given which is equal to 7 kN or 7000 newton. The second parameter that we need to determine here is the moment of inertia. Um, we have already talked about uh, how to calculate moment of inertia and the centroid of the section, so I will go and use the uh, SecPro app and use it for determining the value of centroid and moment of inertia. Here is a snapshot of a SecPro app. As it's visible here, the centroid of section is located 0.657 inch below the top surface of this beam and the moment of inertia around the horizontal axis is 2.3 inch to the fourth. Now let us talk about how we can calculate the value of Q. The value of Q depends on the point of interest. So let me redraw the element and see how can I calculate the value of Q for point A and for point B separately. Okay, this is the area that I need to consider, that I need to calculate the value of Q for that area. I need to cut my section at point A, which is shown here, and because the section is symmetric, I need to cut the section at the opposite side, the side of Y axis, and that gives me this area. Um, Point A is located 2 inch from each side and the total length is 8 inch. So the total width of this area is 4 inch and the thickness of that is 0.25 inch. So area of this section is simply 4 times 0.25 which is 2 square inch. Now I need to determine how much is the distance of this uh, subsection to the centroid of the entire section. The centroid of the entire section is located um, 0.657 from the top surface and the distance of the uh, this subsection to the top is half of the thickness of uh, this section which is half of 0.25 which is equal to 0.125 inch. So, the value of D for this section would be 0.657 minus 0.125. I plug these values into uh, Q equation. Q is A times D. A is 2 squared inch. And D is 0.657 minus 0.125. 0.125. So the value of Q for this section would be 0.532 inch cubed. The other parameter that I need to determine here is thickness. If you look at this um, section in detail, we can see that this section is being cut at um, two legs. So the, the thickness of this section would be twice the thickness of the flange. That would be 2 times 0.25, which is half inch. Now I can calculate the value of shear stress at this point by plugging the values that I have obtained here. Shear force is 7000 kN, Q is 0.532, moment of inertia or I is 2.3, and the thickness is half inch. That gives me the value of shear stress at this point be equal, is equal to 3240 PSI, which is equal to 3.24 KSI. This is the value of shear stress at point A. To determine the value of shear stress at point B, again I need to cut my section at point B. So I drew a line I drew a horizontal line which passes through point B 
and that cuts my section at two points. So I have again two legs here, which are shown here in this figure. I need to determine the value of Q for this purple area. Um, to determine the value of Q, it might be easier to split this uh, area into, say, uh, three uh, subsections. So I will split that in this way. I will call the top section as section number one and side sections as number two and three. To determine the value of Q for this uh, area, it might be better to form a table and calculate the value of Q by multiplying area of each subsection by D. So what I need to do is that I need to calculate the value of A and D for section number 1, 2, and 3. In the first column, I will write down area. In the second column, I will write down distance or distance of centroid of each subsection to the centroid of the entire section. And in the last column, I will write down the product of these two parameters. In the first section, um, the area of the first section is simply 8 times 0.25. The height of second section is 0.657 minus 0.25, which gives me 0 0.407 inch. So area of section 2 and 3 is 0 0.407 times 0.2. The same is true for section number 3. Now we need to determine D for each subsection. For the first section, the centroid of this section is located half of 0.25 inch from the top surface, and the centroid of the entire section is located 0.657 from the top. So that gives me D1 equal to 0.657 minus 0.25 over 2. And distance of the centroid of the uh, second subsection is half of 0.407. Now I can calculate the product of A and D. So A times D for the first section would be 1.064. And for the second and the third section, would be 0 0.0165. The value of Q for all of these subsections is simply sum of A times D, which would be equal to 1.097 inch Q. The second parameter that we need to determine here is how much is the, th is, uh, the thickness. Um, here, I cut uh, two legs so I need to consider the thickness of both legs here. And the thickness of each leg is 0.2. So the total thickness here would be 2 times 0.2, and that gives me 0.4 inch. Now I can go and plug the values into the shear stress equation and determine how much is the value of shear stress at point B. Shear force is 7,000 Newton. It is the same as point A. The value of Q is changing. Now the value of Q is 1.097. Again, the moment of inertia would be the same, that is 2.3, and the thickness is 0.4. That gives me the value of shear stress at this point equal to 83.50 pound per square inch, or PSI, which is equal to 8. 0.35 KSI. And that is the answer of the second part of this problem.